I wanted to show you my ready line motor generator. Uh, a lot of people are setting up solar systems and batteries and and inverters and whatnot to for emergency power. Uh, this is my concept of emergency power. A ready line motor generator made by Honeywell. This particular model requires two 12 volt batteries, one hooked up to both sides. Uh, I actually have hooked this up to a single battery in a car and then went by running the car or the truck uh, it operates the same way for providing 110 volt on-site uh, electricity. I actually, instead of having it hooked up to two 12 volt batteries, I have it hooked up to two 6 volt golf cart batteries. These golf cart batteries were given to me. Uh, they hadn't been used much, but they would only hold uh, 3 or 4 volts. Uh, they were heavily sulfated. So I uh, took these batteries and reconditioned them. And that they now hold six and a half volts each and work very well two together as a 12 volt battery one for each side just to give you an idea how well this works and you can hear the generator slowing down as i turn it off it's on demand only now I could have just have easily, as easily done this with an inverter. For instance, here's a uh, Chicago Electric Power Systems uh, 1000 watt uh, system that would also have allowed me to uh, run power equipment up to 1000 volts. This particular ready line is actually rated for 1600 watts and is extremely heavy duty. I like it uh, a lot better than using inverters that have a tendency to be somewhat flaky sometimes. This is the system I use to desulfate those 6 volt golf cart batteries. Right now I've got it hooked up to a deep cell 12 volt. I've got two 65 watt solar panels. hooked up to a 12-volt battery minder. This is a full-time desulfonation system that runs off, uh, runs off solar. That way I don't uh, require any electricity to run this. Um, it basically uh, charges and overcharges the battery in such a way in, in cycles that it causes the sulfation to uh, go back into the battery acid. I've actually been running uh, this one for a couple of days and it does take a couple of days to desulfate uh, battery. They say it could take a month. I didn't uh, need to do it that much on these batteries. This particular battery looks like if I push the button here it tells me it's already good. It also has a uh, system for determining uh, overheating, but I haven't been using that part of the system. And again, it just runs off the two solar panels directly to the battery, and over a period of time, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, it will desulfate most batteries. <laughs> 